The Sierra Mountains have received over 200 inches of snow in December alone. With the long holiday weekend, we traveled headfirst into the storm to experience California skiing for the very first time. After riding around Squaw Valley the first day, we find ourselves at the nearby Alpine Meadows for a gnarly pow day. Good morning, squad. Welcome back to another episode of season two. Merry Christmas. It is December 25th, so I hope you all had a great holiday. So we woke up to probably about another six or eight inches um, down in Truckee, so it didn't snow too much, but they are calling for 16 to 20 inches during the day today and another like 15 tonight. So tomorrow could be extremely deep, but um, all in all, it was a good night. I managed to find a good sort of like industrial parking area where it was really quiet. It didn't seem like the plow came through too often and I was able to get a lot of rest, which was great. So looking forward to another stormy, windy ski day. I think we got a pretty good spot here in the lot. It's about 7.30. There's not a ton of people here, but it is so windy. It's insane for down here at the base. And again, it's like raining, it's weird. an issue guys there's currently no power at alpine meadows here so all the lifts are basically on hold they're closed they don't know when the power is going to come back like i was telling you guys when i first got here it has been just like extremely windy it's like rocking the entire van total whiteout so i don't even think they really got the lifts open before they lost power so i talked to one of the mountain patrol people they said they don't really know when it's going to come back on good news is that it's only 10 o'clock so maybe they'll get get it opened up um later in the day but i don't know i guess now we just sort of wait it out so To be honest, I'm not really sure what the move is. Um, they're saying stuff is open at Squaw, KT22 and Red Dog, so just the lower stuff. So I'm probably gonna wait this out maybe like an hour. So good things Luna is a beast. Um, I've been having the heater just blowing around 65 degrees, so it's kind of coming on and off. Um, and everything, everything's good. So probably just gonna clean up the kitchen a bit and then make a game plan here about what we can do for some skiing. Looks like one of the uh, lifts, tree line Cirque, I think, or something like that. It's basically right in front of me from where I'm parked. It says it's open. They have like a few little lifts open, so I'm gonna go out and hit it while while it's still open. It's gonna be extremely gnarly out there, so I added another layer first time here, so I'm not sure what to expect. But let's go. Thanks for all you guys 
shit, guys. Well, complete whiteout. I mean, I think the visibility, you know, it's maybe a pole, two poles, I think, right now in front of me, two chairlift poles, even one. Uh, just huge shout out to the to the safety, you know, the, what am I trying to say, the ski patrol, the mountain safety people, the lift attendants, all these people, especially in the storms like this, where they gotta dig themselves out of their own house first just to get here early and then make it so the mountain is skiable and make it act like they don't miss a beat. So just big shout out to, to everyone who works on the, on the mountain, things like that. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Guys, it's an absolute whiteout up here. Holy shit. I'm gonna wait for a second. Even with the trees, it's hard to see. Oh, God. by far the most gnarly conditions I think I've ever skied in. Much less basically with new boots, a brand new resort, by myself, in zero visibility. It's pretty gnarly, but the snow right now is so good. I think the elevation here is a little bit higher than at Squaw, so the snow doesn't feel as wet and heavy. There's a nice solid layer underneath, and there's like this really creamy small few inches on top. The great
no one here and it's just free refills there's so much snow the snow is so good and there's just so many options to choose from i mean this is just like a check-in to just say it's it's insane stoke is so high it's just gnarly out just one of those like dumping storm days just feels good we stuck it out and we got the reward so i mean look at this down there i'm just gonna ski all the way down through there it's gonna be so good I had to change my liners because they were getting so soaked, soaking wet. I can wring water out of them, so I'm on the glove train now. One degrees in here. The heater scheduled the heater. Oh my god! Look at that. Just everything is frozen. It is so gnarly out there. My hair is frozen to my jacket. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. There's no mic or anything. Oh. Oh my god. Holy. I mean, I'm no stranger to pow days, but a pow day that's just that wet all day. Holy shit. That was sick. Oh my God. Oh. I mean, this is just wet. Look at that. That's literally water. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 
That is a day I will remember for the rest of my life. Let's go! This kind of looks like no one has plowed the roads in like, I don't know, a long time. So the roads are pretty bad. Some spots are worse than others, but I'm driving to uh, State Line right now because my plan is to be either at Kirkwood or Heavenly tomorrow, so I figured getting over there would be a good, a good spot. But I'm about 20 miles away, it says, so my plan is to, once I get there, bed down for the night, kind of prepare for this storm that's coming in. But Luna continues to surprise me in the snow. Just really goes to show how much uh, good tires and I have a lot of weight in the back over those tires. So just trying to get there safely and in one piece for tonight and then get out of this storm. So I think what was typically like 30 miles from Alpine to State Line here, took like over an hour and a half. It was just pretty insane. Once we got down almost into state line, about 10 miles before, there was a whole backup. Cars were just getting stuck. It was, it was just like insane. I made it to one of these casinos here, maybe the Turning Rock or Turning, I don't know, something with a lot. And I just saw other vans and RVs. I mean, said guests only, but I don't really have any other options. So I just completely stealthed down. That's why I didn't really show anything. I just pulled in, blocked out all the cab and stuff. So I'm currently cooking some dinner. I'm making a sausage and some soup actually. I actually even just started getting organized with all my clothes, drying my gear out. Everything is still soaked from that epic pow. So first thing is to get some food in me. The last thing I've been doing on this trip is all of my file sort of management, offloading everything. I just picked up a hard drive just for this trip and I'm just unloading all the footage at the end of each day to here. And then I'm also backing it up to just the internal hard drive of the laptop. If for God, God forbid this hard drive fails, I'll at least have a second backup here. And then once I get back to Park City, I'll kind of load this onto my main computer and stuff. And then I'm just charging up all the batteries, the Max, Hero 10, um, this camera here as well. I'm a little bit worried to see what the van is going to look like in the morning with the snow and all that sort of stuff. So make sure you guys tune in on the next episode as we pick up from there. So my plan is to hit possibly Kirkwood tomorrow, but I have a feeling it's just going to be too gnarly to get up there. So I might just be hitting up Heavenly. I don't know. Tomorrow's going to kind of just be a go with the flow sort of day, but at least we made it out here to state line. So today was sick. I mean, speaks for itself. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.